our neighbors who are driving by. They got a major issue going on. The other neighbor said that they're not in town, but they have a major leak going on. Okay, so we were trying to find that water smells like sewage. It does. It's, it's not sewage, it's sulfur because it's groundwater. It's a hose, it's a burst hose. I was just looking at it. It has a bubble. The hose does. Well, where's the valve for the hose? I don't know. That's what I was trying to figure Hoses out. Hoses have shut off valves. I'm trying to figure out. It was like, it's a hose that loops up over the flower bed. That's why I'm confused. Is it, so is it that hose? I think it's that hose. That's why I was trying to close it off and I couldn't get to it. I you went around it, the other side? It, I went around to this side of the house and I couldn't get to it. There might be a shutoff in that flower pot thing. It's pretty deep. I couldn't get in there easily. We'll put some shutoff out instead of flower pot. Come on. Come look at it real quick. Just take a look. Right. Did you get it? You yeah, got it. It's just a hose. You did it. Yeah, you're right. It was a hose. That's exactly, that's right where the hose, when I was like, who the heck would put a hose valve, hose in, valve a, in a garden? They did. <laughs> that's some sulfur smelling. Yeah, yeah, I know. I stuck my head around the corner, so the water was spraying up, so I tried to go under it. Yeah. I forgot about gravity, though. I smell like rotten eggs. Yeah, you do. Yeah. Hey, heroes. Look at man. Of, just... Heroes of Avondale. Come one and all. <laughs> we basically saved them. Go team. <laughs> he's he's so pumped. He's so pumped. Unlock the door so yeah. I look cool. Rescue heroes! <laughs> this wholesomeness. Like out there like fixing neighbors stuff. And then we're gonna say it's gonna be a wholesome sandwich. Wholesomeness. Liquor store. Dinner with family. <laughs> mom's uh, mom's at a concert. She went to go see um, George Strait. That was her birthday gift from me. She went with her mom and her aunt. So they're going to see George Strait and Chris Stapleton in Little Big Town. You ready? <laughs> Which was perfect because it gives us the opportunity to prepare for Mother's Day. I'm, you guys stay here. I'm going to run in the liquor okay, store. Good she can't go in there. Anyway. No, she can't. It's a liquor store attached to a bar, which I don't think she can go in a liquor store being under 21. No. <laughs> Almost. Um, Two more years. Whoop, whoop. Two more years from tomorrow. Birthday girl. Bet you that tree came down yesterday. Look at that, dude. I just was walking. I didn't even notice the tree. Isn't that crazy? Look up. Came from there. Yeah, I bet it came down in yesterday's storm. Mm. Wow. It's crazy, right? I say his mind is blown. <laughs> That's a big freaking tree, man. That's a huge tree. We're gonna do a, we're gonna do one lap before we do dinner, alright? That's another one. Another tree that came one's down. Not as impressive. I get that one. <laughs> the other one I thought was a whole tree of its own. That's the crazy thing. It took me a second to realize that it broke off from it was half of a tree. Yeah. It was a full tree. So I'm proud of you. <laughs> she walked, somebody else said Chick-fil-A at the park. We're gonna get Chick-fil-A dinner and we were talking about it. And then she's like, oh, conveniently they have it right there. I think it's And I don't there. understand mine and not mine, so. It's funnier that we told her, we can do Chick-fil-A, but we're gonna do it after the park. Yeah. And she gets here, she's like, somebody apparently was able to do Chick-fil-A before the park. How <laughs> crazy is that, guys? What the heck? They're just better than us, Abigail. They organized their day better so that they went to Chick-fil-A first. We would have had to drive there and back and it would have been a whole Yeah, dude. A full lap. Nice hey. work. Yeah. Very little resistance. You were fully willing. I love it. You only stopped at one bench. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. Normally you stop at every bench. Every single bench. Got some fish bubbles walking through the park. How you doing? Doing good? Are you good? Good. What's up, brother? <laughs> Do you need anything? I need to go get some work done. Whoa, whoa. What was that sign? Show me again. Nice. You want a magazine? Come up here and get it. Come on. Come on. What do we have? Better homes and gardens. It's a brand new one. Grandma Donna gave me this. How nice of her. Ooh. Think we could get away with a mini magazine? 
less to clean up later. Since it is already a bit nighttime, not quite bedtime, but nighttime. Are you gonna come get this? Come on. Mm -hmm. Come on. Pound it. Pound it. Oh. See you later. Little late night cruise. What do you think? Come on. <laughs> Gotta go pick up Mama and Nanny and Aunt Cindy because they can't get an Uber. Now we gotta take the car with more seats, okay? I'm gonna have you ride in the backpack. I know you don't mind. This girl loves the very back seat. You tired? Yeah. Can you put your seatbelt on, please? Put your seatbelt on. No, that's not yours. It's behind you. Look, behind you. Turn, turn around. Nope, turn around. Nope, stop. Back there. Let go of that one. Let go. Turn around. It's behind you. I'll, I'll help you. Hold on. Hold on. That's that's not yours, sweetie. Here, look right here. Uh oh, you lost your light. Nice job. Priscilla texted me earlier and a picture of George Strait on stage. She's a bucket list. <laughs> I'm so happy she got to do that, especially with, so it's funny, we go and hang out at the pool, you know, at her parents. Like we started, before we had a pool, we started hanging out in their pool and they only own one CD, Priscilla's parents do. George Strait. George Strait's greatest hit specifically is the only thing that they own. It's never left their CD player. Like they have like a, they have like a CD player from the 90s, you know? Late 90s probably. And that CD's never not been in that CD player. All right, let's go deal with that traffic. It's gonna be a mess. What are you giggling about? Isaiah went out with friends. Otherwise I would just have him hang out with Abby or have him pick them up. He went out tonight, so I told him to. I was like, hey, get with your friends, go out, go do something. He loves his job but he has been working non-stop at his job. Like, it's, it seems like all he does is work, so. Like, you need to go out and, you, know, you can burn yourself out, even when you love your job. You know, you can just, you can burn yourself out, so. He's got that salary position now, so he just works, 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 works. Oh my goodness. It's, uh, I don't know, two hours later. So we're like six miles from the stadium, maybe. Drove around for two hours trying to get to the stadium. They had all the roads blocked going in. Couldn't get in. So they finally ended up having to get a golf cart to as close as we could get to the stadium. They would take a golf cart there to get to us where we were parked. Because we couldn't get any closer. Save my life. Proof of life, I just want to make sure everybody really knew that I did get you. You did. Yeah. <laughs> you did. I appreciate you. It was crazy. He Holy was cow. Not, he doesn't like to drive anyway. <laughs> he was so stressed. Yeah. Are you going to apologize? I, you yelled at me. I had 17 people merging on top of me. I was on the Martin Luther King. I was on a highway. I, I could have been a duck. And you're like, just stop and ask somebody. Who? Who? Can you apologize? Say, I'm no. sorry. I love you, sweetheart. It's Mother's Day. I have to be nice to you because you're my children's mother. Yeah, you're a mother. <laughs> That's what I want to say to you. This guy walked by as I, as you were fr frustrated. And this guy walked by and he's throwing his arms up and he's like yelling explicitives because the guy that he's with doesn't know where they're parked. He's, and I'm Hold like, on. How do you say expletives? Explicitives. Okay. <laughs> Expletives. <laughs> and like is that how you always say it? No. Okay. I don't think I've ever used that word. <laughs> okay. I usually just She uses expletives. <laughs> she just doesn't use explicitives. Um, he was saying cuss words. <laughs> <laughs> um and the guy's like, You don't even know where we're parked. I'm like, At least you have a car. Like that's what I want to tell him. My husband's trying to get to me, so stop being a jerk. <laughs> that was insane. It was so crazy.
There were so many people trying 45, to get out of 45,000 people went to that show. Yeah. Abby was such a trooper. She rode the whole way, just vibing out to music in the back. Oh my gosh. Yeah, she was fine. This ear needs a break from the earrings. I hope you guys had a great Mother's Day. This is going up afterwards, so see you, see you, see you tomorrow.